What's up guys? Welcome back to Justin and Justina's TV. Today we are reviewing the Nerf Modulus Regulator. Alright, so we got the long barrel. So it has two attachment points and it's not that much longer than the short barrel that we got here. And they look a lot different. This one it has less less white paint on it and they still have the same attachment points on both sides so we're going to put these together for right now and when you want to put them together you you have to put they have you have to slide them in and then you have to twist it and they click in the place same thing with this thing this is the carry handle all right so we have the regulator and the carry handle is for this purpose. You're supposed to, oh, I'm, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> so you slide it in like the um, long barrel and short barrel. And you do this and then you push the gun in place. So if sometimes you think, oh, just looking down, hold it, looking down the sights is too boring. Why is that there yet? Just, just hold it from the side. You can hold it from the side, and then every like 90 degrees, you could it clicks into place. Why I don't know why would someone hold it? Would someone? Do you think anyone would actually hold it like this? <laughs> oh, it looks so weird. All right, so right now we're gonna attach the short barrel and long barrel. I it's so you could do this any way you want, really. But I'm putting the short barrel and then the long barrel to get the most out of it because this is the longer one out of the two. If you put it this way, the, bar the barrel wouldn't extend out as much. So, and this gives the opponent a less reaction time to the bullet. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, this is what it will look like all together. This, the, we have two magazines of 12. You could use any end strike Elite that holds Elite and then you could take these and put them in any Nerf modules or Nerf 2.0s that have a slot for a magazine. Also, we have, we have um, the stock that carries the second one. So in the heat of the battle, you take this one out, take it out, and quickly and easily swap. Okay, so going, moving on to the carry handle can go onto here. It goes on somewhere. Um, like this or so. Yep, like this. Wait, so, so you don't need this, to do So you could put the carry handle here if you want it to. Can't or if it. like if you want to store all the modular stuff and keep them together, like you could do this. Okay, click it. Wait. <laughs> There's a like this. So I didn't tell him about this one there. You could use these as scopes. And this one will probably be used. I'll use more because this one's longer. I, I like a long scope, so it looks like the stuff is like right there. Justin, what do you think? There's no, there's no batteries yet. Pull these two things down and you push it off. So like in the heat of the battle, when you go in that and you're like full auto. If you're going full auto, you just hold it down and it's easier to swing around. So the mag release is like. Too close to the trigger. If you have bigger hands, that's probably gonna be like you're probably gonna accidentally sometimes like push the mag out, and then you're gonna jam the gun because the bolt will get stuck. That's a problem. Also, we have so you could go semi-auto, which is single fire, three round burst, and full auto pew pew, which I like to call it. 
auto pew pew. That means it goes really fast and you just have to hold down and it kick the trigger. And for the semi-auto and the three round burst, you could just lightly tap it and it, it will recognize that you're trying to shoot. So here's the problem with this. Uh, the force <laughs> falls off completely. Um, so you could actually use this. Uh, I gotta line this up. I don't like the idea of lining it up every time, but actually you could look through down the sights. Oh my goodness, this will be the best gun ever. <laughs> This will be the best gun ever. It's on the carry handle, there's a people. And with these, these are high enough to see through it. So you could use these as scopes and it will look like this. So here is the thing that I just noticed that I learned about about this gun. So the so when the mag where the mag should be, the mag uh the mag where the mag goes in should be right here most of the time. So earlier I went to go put the bullets on uh, mag in, and I went like this and I said oh no it's up here and I have to put it in. Um, this is a weird thing but you could kind of put like any nerf gun down here. It, it's weird. So the mag, so where the magwell should be is like right where the grip is and the grip should be right down here but they put a tactical rail there. And they put the magwell um, away, and then they put the magwell where the grip should be, and they put the grip where the magwell should be. So I, I think they should reverse. I like this gun. I looked at it and I said, it, it, "This is probably going to be a good gun." I mean, you have semi-auto, three-round burst, and full auto pew pew, which is amazing. You have choices, and also, if you run out of bullets, there's this blinking red dot that I can't show you because I don't have a buy reason yet. But we'll show you that later in the video after we're done shooting all 12. So first, at first we're gonna do a uh, semi, uh, semi auto. This gets better at Nerf than Um, Semi auto, and then we're going three round burst. And then we're going Full auto pew pew. All right, for now, I'm gonna make the greatest combination. Oh my god, could I? <laughs> oh my, <goodness>. my brother <laughs> Justin's laughing at me for the moment. I'm getting laughed at by my four year old brother. No, five. Five. <laughs> Almost six. Whoopsie daisy. You have to, in the heat of the battle, you can't put your. So I would like to put my thumb and flick it, but I can't because it's way too far. So instead of that, you have to use your trigger finger. And if you're like getting shot at and you want to do this quick, it's better to do it with your thumb still on the trigger. Uh, I mean, trigger. you want to do, you want to flick it with your thumb instead of your trigger finger because if you're off the trigger, people could shoot you in the hand of the battle. So, I, I don't like that really much. I wish you could do it with your thumb, it's better. And my auto pew pew. The symbol for it is one bullet. And it semi-auto pew pew, it just shoots one bullet every time you press that. So, three round burst, it shoots three bullets, it has a picture of three bullets going through the air. As it's indicator that it's three, three round burst. It shoots three every time you press that. And it takes a couple seconds to shoot the uh, bullets after you press so don't like spam it because that will jam up and the reader the reader and the the uh magwell won't read it and you're gonna jam the gun that's not good now the baddest thing ever full auto peeping it it's signified by a lot of darts 
so as the indicator of full auto keeping, it shoots all the bullets if you just hold down the trigger. And I'm gonna sh try to show after I shoot them all out. I'm gonna show you the red, um, the red blinking light. So first time we are going semi-auto. We can do it. One ball. I'm tapping really light. I'm tapping really light. And here is the red bullet. Not bullet. Be uh, light that comes up on your own. So to stop that, you take out the thing. Alright, now it's triple three round burst. And I'm out. All right, guys. So now we're doing full auto pew pew. Oh, I rate it 100 out of the 10. Well, 100 out of the 10 relates to a 10 out of 10. This gun is amazing. All the possibilities. You can stick a gun under it. Like, that's amazing. Justin, what do you rate it? A nine out of a ten. Nine out of a ten. <laughs> so, to wrap off this video, so this was some fun flying entertainment. Don't forget to, to like Sub and subscribe. Subscribe, he says, or something like that. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe and we will have some more fun flying entertainment soon.